two titans of international football faced off in the 2022 World Cup semifinals with Argentina facing off against Croatia. This match saw two maestros of football with Messi and Modric both captains of their respective team and the stakes were set for a spot in the final. In the end, Argentina cruised to victory with a final score of 3-0 thanks to an Alvarez brace and a penalty converted by Lionel Messi. But what tactics did Argentina use in the semi-final of the World Cup? Let's have a look. On paper, Argentina lined up in a 4-4-2 while Croatia opted for a 4-3-3 formation. And early on it was clear that Croatia was keen on keeping possession of the ball. Using their midfield talents of Kovacic, Brozovic, and Modric, Croatia held a massive 65% of possession after the first 20 minutes of the match. Lionel Scaloni, Argentina's head coach, seemed to anticipate this however as the Albiceleste held to their defensive shape, with two banks of four not allowing a single shot on target while also looking incredibly dangerous on the counterattack. And right around the hour mark, one of these breaks was key to Argentina's victory. Argentina plays the ball quickly from the back and the ball finds Fernandez in the middle of the park who then spots Alvarez's perfectly timed run right in between Croatia center backs Guardiol and Lovren. Alvarez then does a great job of remaining calm in a 1v1 situation when Livakovic slams into him. The Argentine falls inside of the box and after a moment, the ref goes over to the Croatian goalkeeper, paints him yellow, and then points to the penalty spot. Messi steps up, as you would expect, and blasts it past Livakovic. With the goal, Messi passed Gabriel Batistuta to become Argentina's all-time leading World Cup goal scorer. And Croatia never really looked the same after the penalty because only five minutes later, another blistering counterattack would double Argentina's lead. Argentina quickly run the ball up with Messi being taken down. The ref did a great job of allowing play to continue though, as Alvarez finds the ball and in a Maradona-esque run, beats two defenders and the goalkeeper to make it 2-0. And I just want to highlight Molina's football IQ here as his diagonal run across goal drags Sosa so he cannot affect Alvarez's run. Here the path is completely opened up for Argentina's number 9 and by the time Sosa realized, he was flailing as Alvarez calmly slotted past him. Brilliant combination from the forward and the right back, which left Croatia's back line in shambles. Alvarez in particular would end the half with four defensive line breaks. Magnificent from the 22-year-old on the world's biggest stage. But Argentina was not through yet, and of course, Messi had to stamp his mark on the match. Seemingly out of nowhere, Messi kicked it into second gear, leaving Guardiol in the dust. A couple of trademark feints and turns later, Messi assisted Alvarez, who was again in the perfect position to score his brace and seal the match for Argentina. Messi ended the match being the most influential player for the Albiceleste with the most touches in the match, scored a goal that puts him level with Mbappe for the most goals in the tournament with five, and was awarded his fourth Man of the Match award in this World Cup. In the end, Argentina's direct style of play was too much for Croatia, who never really looked comfortable after conceding early in the first half. Argentina also proved to be the most clinical of the two sides, converting all three of their shots on target. Messi and company have now booked their ticket to the final and now await their opponent on the opposite side of the bracket. Now we will see whether they face France or Morocco in the final. Messi finds himself just one win away from winning his most coveted but most elusive trophy in his career. Can he lead Argentina to victory this time? Make sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future World Cup videos here on VC Football, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.